previously on Balls. Hi, Hugh. It's Balls Visual Radio. Hi, you, Simon. Fine, and you? Fine, thank Hello, you. Hello, Huey. That's John Walland. Uh, hello, John. Good to see hello, you today. Hello, Huey. And that's Kate. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, listen, uh, this is your first audition uh, for Blades, the radio show, starting on the 11th. So, oh, it is, is it? yeah, well, look, you've got the job. Um, I just thought I'd, I'd want to hear how you introed the show. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready Thanks. for it, Hugh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it. I'm going to drive the desk, and I know nothing about that. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, you're there every day, so you know what's going on. Yeah, well, you'd think. Um, but yeah. apparently your first guest on the 11th is none other than your good mate Sid Nomis. Yes. It'll be nice to have uh, Sid in the studio and chat away with him. You, you've got a full two hours, eh? Can you do it? We'll just hang in there, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, you, um, <laughs> you've got to put together your playlist that you want me to, uh, the songs you want me to load. So think of as many Lionel Richie songs as you can. Lady and Antebellum. So Lady Antebellum <laughs> and Celine Dion, and we'll get you going. You guys, you guys have got good memories, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought Regrets I'd tell you. We've had a few. <laughs> yeah. I, I just thought I'd tell you quickly before we chat about uh, the passing of, of Dr. Late that. Uh, I had a look at a poll on Sport 24 under the most popular commentators in South African rugby, and I can say that so far you are streets ahead of everyone else. Brilliant! Is that, yes. Is that, a, is that a current poll? It's a current poll. I voted 9,000 times for you this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a current poll. You are you're I'm ahead. Surprised you didn't vote for yourself. <laughs> I'm not that vain. <laughs> so hopefully you win it again because I think you won it last year, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you do. Um, Thanks. But listen, uh, yeah, we we phone you on um, on the back of of some sad news today, the passing of of Dr. Louis Late, and um, you know you were very closely involved with Transvaal Rugby and uh, would have known the man very well, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a very sad day. You know, Louis was a uh, was was. Well, let me. Put it this way, Louis was very good to me in many ways, and then you know I, I had great admiration for him. He took over the well, it was the Transvaal Golden Lions Rugby Union when they were in dire financial straits, and very quickly he got them into a strong financial position. And at the same time, he built around the Lions, you know, the Francois Pinot era where they won everything. Um, and then he was instrumental in bringing Kids, Kids Christie to the Lions. He was instrumental in appointing him to, you know, having an unbeaten test career. And unfortunately, you know, the old health uh, caught hold of Kids Christie. But Louis took those decisions. And then he, he oversaw the 1995 World Cup to financially, uh, and in, almost in every other way, the best World Cup that was ever staged. Yeah, and look, he was a controversial figure. Um, I think I was reading some of the comments on the various websites this afternoon. Some people, you know, not sad that that he's passed away. Others saying that, uh, you know, yeah, they were, and he was uh, he was a great businessman and a great business mind. What were your um, with your dealings with him? How did you find him? Well, in a very strange way, you know. That the fun, first of all, let me say that. I played against him. Transvaal played against Northern Transvaal in 1965, and I was 20 years old, and I think he was 33. And um, we, we, at one stage, he started his business, Triumph, and, and I worked for a company, and we were in the same building. Okay. And then, you know, I, through Mickey Kerber, I became involved in rugby administration. And Louis was at the forefront of, of the, just about the entire time I was involved in the Golden Lions in terms of, first of all, selection, then as convener of the selectors, and then appointment to the executive committee as what they called in those days vice presidents, and then on the board of Ellis Park Preview Limited and as a trustee of the Golden Lions Sports Trust. So when you say what was my involvement, it was quite serious involvement with with a man that I I was never scared of him, and uh, and you know he had a, um, a, a a very forceful personality, and some people uh, I think you know held him in huge awe, whilst I held him in in great respect and 
uh, as as a, you know as a real friend. Yeah, and and he did wonderful things for for Transvaal rugby. He did wonderful things not only for Transvaal rugby, but a lot of people didn't realize. You know, he was a great benefactor, and he helped a lot of people. And uh, I say he didn't make a big noise about it, but a lot of people were helped by Louis Lace, and and I don't think he ever got the full credit for that. Yeah, it's a it's a sad day. Love him or hate him, Louis Laters has passed away at the at the age of of eighty. We've got uh, Hugh Bladen on the line. Hugh, thanks so much for for your comments this afternoon. Um, are you commentating any other games this weekend? I know the Lions up against the Bulls in Soweto. Have you got that He's one? There. Yes, I'm there at uh, Orlando Stadium at, and uh, looking forward very much to it. I I haven't seen the, the Bulls side. It's been a bit late in coming out, but I think that it would appear that Johan Ackermann has picked. Probably the best side uh, that he's put into the field. You know, this is their third game, and they've done well against Russia and against the Cheetahs. And it will be interesting to see uh, how this side uh, performs. I think that in this challenge that the coaches from the Super Rugby franchises will probably not put their best sides out against the Lions, but try uh, youngsters, which will be very interesting to see because the... Lions is a very uh, young side in many ways. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I think we, we've, we've already seen some two pretty good games, and I think uh, tomorrow should be likewise. Well, I wonder on, uh, on those two games, the Cheetahs game, I wonder how much of their, how many of those Cheetahs players will run out in Super Rugby, because if it's the side that played the Lions, they're going to certainly have their work cut out for them this year. Yeah, I th- you know, I think that they did play a, a few of their fringe players and, uh, and coaches that have seen how guys stand up to playing against the Lions, which is a pretty reasonable size, a pretty reasonable test. And, you know, given that the, the Lions have a, a, a little bit of an advantage, I believe, because they, they really do have a point to prove. And uh, so, you know, sides must be looking forward towards the Super Rugby and uh, maybe holding back a little bit, but you know, the, the more you hold back, the more you're going to be exposed, and the more your coach is going to say, "Hold on a second, is this guy ready for Super Rugby?" Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, Hugh, call a good one this weekend. I'll be listening and um, preparing my material for for 2013. Um. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, <laughs> but have a have an unbelievable game and uh, have an Thank un- you. have an unbelievable weekend. Thanks for have joining a good us. Weekend to all Cheers, of you. Cheers, you. Cheers, you. Cheers, Ciao. 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 Bye. There you go. The voice of South African rugby, uh, mm. Mr. Hugh Bladen. See, now I don't know what to call him because you call him Huey. Now I'm like Huey. That yeah, but I know. Right. I know him. Yeah, but I want to say. I don't want to say Mr. Bladen. You can call him Mr. Bladen. Uh, or Hugh. He said I was calling him Hugh. Or Uncle Hugh. Uncle Hugh. I Uncle think Hugh. I like Uncle Could Hugh. Could be your grandfather. <laughs> Mind your P's and Q's. This is Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African Time. Balls.co.za